you feel after the surgery? I'm a little tired right now. Well, it's, it's common for most. No, all of the patient after the sur surgery to feel tired. So you're not nothing to worry about yet. But uh, let me check your surgical wound and see uh, how's it doing. Ew, that's nasty. Excuse me, what is nasty down there? Mm, uh, your wound, uh, no, I mean your surgical wound. Is, there's some swelling and you have, you have a fever as well. Let me check if it's hurt. Ow, that really hurt! Stop! Well, didn't need to ask her. Um, so, you appear to have an infection. Mm, we have to do some checkup on that. Uh, am I dying? I'm too young to die. What's happening to me, Maris? You'll be fine. I just have to draw some blood work to find out the cause of the infection. Okay. Well, that was the last patient of the day. Sweet. Now I can go back to my room and enjoy some of uh, my delicious Dr. Pepper. You're not going to wash your hands after visiting all the patients? See it clean now. You don't need to waste uh, clean water. They're running out of it, and they won't make any more Dr. Pepper if they're running out of clean water. Oh, uh, remember to uh, bring the blood sample to the lab for further testing. And on the way back, can you get me some uh, Dr. Pepper? Well, what about the money for the Dr. Pepper? What about it? You have some, don't you? Unsanitized and cheap. How did he become a doctor? You say something? Nope, nothing. Then hurry up and tell the uh, lab tech lady that uh, I'll buy her lunch. You, he, she can hurry my result up. Okay. Here is the blood sample from Dr. Pepper. He says he will buy you lunch if you hurry up, even though he won't pay for his heavenly delicious Dr. Pepper. That oh, cheap doctor. Probably get me like a lunch bowl or something. But hey, probably can't pass up some free food, no. right? Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, here are your results. What took you so long? Do you want good results or do you want crappy results? I'm sorry, so what's the result? Well, I analyzed the blood sample and I suspect it to be vancomycin resistant enterococci. I started by growing a culture in blood auger to see which bacteria were present and then confirmed by testing for drug sensitivity, specifically for vancomycin. It's confirmed to be the BRE infection. Bring Dr. Pepper the results so he can follow up with immediate treatment. Please tell him to wash his hands before he buys me any kind of food. I will try, but there's no promise. Especially with BRE infection, you have to make sure he's practicing proper hygiene and is wearing gloves when coming in contact with infected patients' body fluids. You don't want him to transfer it from patient to patient. Alright, I will try, but I'm not his babysitter. What's taking you so long? My grandma would have been faster than you. Do you want good results or crappy results? I'm sorry. So what's the result? It's a BRE infection. Well, at least I know that I'm not gonna, gonna get it because I'm healthy enough. I really need to wash my hands. Yeah, and the lab tech lady wants you to wash your hands before you buy her food. Then I won't wash my hands then. I'll save some money. Well, well, I'll go over to the patient room and explain it to her. Uh, you go get the lab tech lady and bring her to the room. Dr. Pepper, am I dying right now? Maybe you are. No, she's not. Well, just kidding. But you do have uh, vancomycin resistant enterococci. What are those? Am I dying still? Well, you will die eventually. But your time hasn't come yet. This is a treatable disease and you'll be fine. Enterococci are browset bacteria that actually live in your gut. Ew, there are bacteria in my gut right now? <laughs> yes, there are. Enterococci are normally good bacteria. However, BRE, not so much. They can be transmitted through direct contact with any contaminated site, especially the blood and feces of an infected patient. The entry could be through an open surgical wound, like in your case, through skin by a compromised needle inserted to deliver medication, or catheters. 
Well, they come in your bloodstream and circulate through your body. They are not contagious otherwise. Um, they often attack immunocompromised patients such as yourself, and VR infection is an opportunistic disease. It can cause any kind of infection, but in your case, it's a surgical, surgical wound infection. Um, you have some fever, red, redness, and pain near the wound. It can be fatal if we don't treat it right away, but since we know it now, we'll follow up with immediate treatment. Uh, you will take daptomycin, 4 mg per kilogram IV once every 24 hours, hours for 7 to 14 days, and the nurse will help you admin administrate it. So I'm not going to die today? Uh, no, not yet. Thank goodness. What's up, dog? I'm sorry, so what's the result? <laughs> you can't, I, you can't read it. I know. Bring Dr. Pepper the results so we can follow up with immediate treatment. Oh, top. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no. So, so, what is it? Like, we're creeping on you. Yeah. <laughs>